Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're going to make edible rock candy geodes. I'm going to show you two different methods of making these. Firstly, you're going to need to make your super saturated sugar solution. So we're going to add three cups of sugar to one cup of water and put it in a saucepan and stir it until it's dissolved. If you lift up a spoonful and you can still see those little dots like you can here, then it's not fully dissolved. So keep stirring until you can lift up a spoonful and if you just wait a second and the bubbles disperse, you can see it's completely clear. Then remove it from the heat and add your desired colouring and then stir that in well. Then you can add more colour until you get the exact tone that you're after. The first method that I'm going to show you uses fondant for the outside shell. So I want you to take some white fondant and roll it out on some non-stick baking paper into a fairly thin layer. Then take some grey fondant and add chunks of darker colours to it. If you're new to working with fondant, just click on the Cake Decorating Tutorials playlist in the description below this video. And there's a video recipe for fondant and there's also a video on how to colour fondant there. Mix it together roughly so that you leave some different variations in the colours through the fondant and then roll that out onto another sheet of non-stick baking paper and then rub a small amount of water just across the top of the surface of your rock coloured fondant. Lift up your white fondant with the baking paper underneath it and flip it over on top of the rock coloured fondant and then peel off your paper and smooth it out. Join two pieces of aluminium foil together by folding them over a couple of times. Put that flat on the bench, then put down a dishcloth and a bowl on top of that. Use more foil to line your bowl and to create that uneven rock shape by putting chunks of foil on different sides. When you've got the shape you want, just put one more sheet of foil across the top of the whole thing. Give a light spray of cooking oil and then place your fondant rock colour side down over the top of your bowl and gently press it into place. Using some scissors, trim the fondant so that it's slightly smaller and then pour your sugar syrup into that. Wrap up the whole thing in the alfoil and leave it undisturbed for at least 12 hours. The sugar in the fondant is going to cause it to crystallise fairly quickly. You can pour out the excess syrup and break off any excess pieces that have formed if you just want the crystals around the edge. If you're happy for bigger crystals in the middle like is in the other one, then you can leave them. Then leave it to dry. I turned it upside down so it could dry out completely and then just use a knife to trim off the excess fondant. The second method of making the geodes uses chocolate instead of fondant. And for this we're going to take a large bowl and half fill it with some flour. Then put a smaller bowl inside that and add some more flour to give that uneven rock shape. Place a sheet of foil over the top, press it into place and try and smooth out any of those folds so that the candy doesn't get stuck around the aluminium. Then pour in your sugar syrup, cover it with foil and then put some cloths over the top and you're going to leave this one to cool for about 48 hours. If you're wondering why I didn't just put the cold sugar syrup into a chocolate bowl, let me show you. Here's what happens if you pour cold sugar syrup into a chocolate Easter egg resting on a cup. Look what happened to the bottom of the chocolate. So you need to bake your candy first and then your chocolate second. Lift the foil out of the bowl, pour off your excess syrup and gently peel back the foil. Leave it upside down to dry out for about half a day. Melt some candy melts if you're in the USA or if you're in Australia then Nestle white chocolate melts. You can do that in the microwave, just 30 seconds and stir it, then 20 seconds and stir, 10 seconds stir. You need to keep stirring really well because microwaves heat unevenly. You can put it in for another 10 seconds and stir. If you don't keep stirring then one portion of it is going to burn before the rest is melted. You can put it in for another 10 seconds and stir. Place your rock candy upside down on a glass and pour over the melts allowing the excess to drip off onto the paper. Place the excess back into the bowl and if you want a thicker white border around the edge of your geode then add more white chocolate around the edges. Once that's set then reheat your melts in your bowl and add a couple of spoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now this is going to make it thicker and less shiny so it looks a bit more rock like. Spoon that over the top and spread it out and allow the excess to drip off like you did before. Now I'm adding in some crushed Oreo dirt on top to make it look a bit more rock-like. That's optional if you want to add that in your can. And then leave it to set. 
lift it off your glass and you can see your geode in the middle there. Now you can leave it with the spikes on it if you like, that looks quite cool. But if you want it to look exactly like a geode, then take a serrated knife and trim it around the edges so that it looks like a rock that has been split in two. Don't forget to click like if you liked the geodes and share it with your friends. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers and I'll see you next week. Bye.